36. Recalling the conditions needed for seed germination. Just to remind you of the seed structure, the seed coat is called the testae. The food stores here are called the cotyledons. Normally there's a scar on the seed where it's detached from the ovary wall and here there's a pore called the micro pile. This is actually where the pollen tube entered the seed and brought about the fertilization. And within the seed there'll be an embryonic plant structure inside uh, waiting to develop. So the conditions required to bring about the germination first of all we're going to need some water. Now the most seeds are kept in a very dry condition about 10% of the normal tissue content of water. This slows down their metabolism so one of the things we're going to need is some water. The second thing are reasonable temperatures, higher temperatures, and that's because we're going to need some enzyme action. And particularly the enzymes are going to be breaking down the starch into maltose. That's the starch from the seed store here into maltose. And of course you'll know that that's brought about by amylase, but there are many other enzymes that will require higher temperatures to become mobilized. Recall the diagram of the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. So we've got rate here and the temperature is increasing here and so as we move along the temperature curve here the rate of reaction will increase. So we're looking to move towards the optimal temperature giving us the maximum rate of reaction. So that's what we're moving towards by increasing temperatures. So we need water and temperature. And the third thing that we'll need is oxygen because the seeds respire, that is they do respiration, anaero I'm sorry, aerobically. So that's respiration using oxygen.